Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Express here on S3 and the perfect meal to welcome and whip up over the weekend is the succulent, sweet and savory spicy pork rashes served with an old time favorite. Tangy slaw will undoubtedly have mouths watering all around and of course your loved ones are going to be wanting more and more. It's going to be the perfect family recipe. I got the perfect family member here, Graham, uh -huh. to help me out. Here we go. Are I'm you on ready? meat, baby. I'm on meat. You're on sauce and slaw. Indeed. Let's get going. Okay. So we've got some beautiful thick rashes you go there. of bacon. Um, the pork Fantastic. is for the win. Um, we're going to slice these guys in half so we can add them to our skewers. Simple barbecue Perfect. flavors, my brother. Simple barbecue flavors. Well, talking oil. about that, I actually have made a little glaze here. Ooh, I've got yummy. vinegar, paprika, chili flakes in the pan over here to balance things out. Then I put brown sugar in here too. I'm going nice. to drop in some tomato sauce, some barbecue sauce, and make a glaze for what will be eventually a fantastic result. And that glaze is going to go atop these beautiful rashes, which are getting the barbecue spice and a little bit nice. of salt. Make quite a lot of it, but... A bit of pepper, no, more the merrier, my friend, and a bit of garlic powder as well. So no sweetness here, that's going into the sauce, because these are going in the oven for quite a while, and we don't want to, obviously, those sugars. Like a, how long An hour have? at 180. Hour. I also had that Hours same it. reaction, but there's a lot of fatcher that needs to break down um, flavors to really kind of evolve oh, and develop. Look at A little this. bit of absolutely everything, and then we just simply pop these guys onto their skewer, and then and they then go into... we fast-forward that hour there, Graham. Dun, 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 dun. And this is what they look like when they come oh. out after an hour. Don't okay? eat them yet. Don't you eat can't. them yet, Carl. You know why? Don't do it. Because they go straight in. I'm going to dunk them. Oh, get out. Right into my glaze. Oh, no. On the pan. And I think this is also kind of the theater. You know, people around the, the kitchen counter, and they're yeah. doing the thing, and you're dunking it in here instead of basting. Theater. And they're like, hey, wasty, why are you not basting? I'm like, look here. <laughs> a wasty, don't basty, eh? <laughs> Say. Right, so what we do is we do this, and then we're going to pop that. Back in. in. Back in. And we're going to make this beautiful, beautiful coating, all right? Once we've done that, uh -huh. and it's got all of that unctuousness, yeah. sticky, funky flavors in the pork rashes. And it must be funky, eh? We need fresh. Uh -huh. What is fresh? Coleslaw. Coleslaw, mixture of, you know, you can do your own thing, but cabbage, uh -huh. as well as carrots, simple. What I'm gonna do is, uh -huh. game changer, I'm dropping in sugar. Oh, no, you I'm didn't. I'm dropping in sugar. Oh, no, you did Yes, I am. Then, I'm dropping in, beautiful, look at this. Oh, wow. Sorry, we have to, we have to do it properly. Nice. Yes. Lovely celery. Okay. And you need this. You need something to temper the sweetness and the spikiness yes. of the, the meat here. Yeah, you've this. got to have something to kind of counterfoil and that. Let's just go and I'm going to do that here and yeah. we'll just get it all going and flowing. This is fantastic. And I do like a bit of zing with my slaw, yeah. I must say. So, like, I don't mind ramping it up going with tangy level nine. This is great. Wow. See this? Look at this. Okay. And I, I don't like my coleslaw too overdressed. For I'm sure. Not sure. Are you a fan of the coleslaw that's drowning in mayo? Well, that's thing. You don't, want to, you don't want residue left from your slaw once you've finished eating it. It must be a self-contained bite. You that's know? correct. Um, a slaw doesn't come with a sauce, yo. Hey? And that's the thing. And then what we're going to do to present... Beautiful. This is going to be our bed. Oh, okay. And then I need you to do me a favor. Uh -huh. Could you cut us some microgreens on that side I of can. the bed? Oh, microgreens so are on the ready. And while I do the plating on this, so... What we do is we go down in the center and we present beautifully. The coleslaw goes down first. And we want to make it as stunning as possible. Thank you, little... You can use a little, little saucer if you want to, a little bowl to make it look even better. But I like a bit of height because height is good. Height shows that you are generous and that you love the familia. So that's what I'm talking about. So we need Beautiful. Okay. Then... It's a tower of love. A tower of love. Then what we're going to do is atop that, we've got our skewers. We're going to go on top. And that's going to be absolutely sensational here. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Almost there. Yeah, Almost there. The angle. There we go. It's there. It's there. Rech. And then, um, up, mate, look up. at that. And just drizzle. Drizzle. Right? Be and you know, the for, smoky for, for smells measure, coming here, my friend. I, just, I think I'm not even happy. Don't play. I'm not don't happy. Don't play. Yet. No, don't I'm play. I'm not happy. I'm not. You know don't I, even play games Now I'm yet. happy. I'm telling you what. This is where I'm getting happy. Just got real. That's wow. where I get happy. That. If your significant other doesn't create your dish with that much passion and food theater and drama, it's just not good enough. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Well done. To get the recipe and ingredients, head on over to expressoshow.com. Graham and I worked very, very hard on that. Give it a try. Take a picture. Send it to us. 063 as we get on to a Friday dance to work off all of that pork rashes.